Divers were reporting seeing some strange melting of sea stars along the entire Pacific coast. And so we went out and we, we looked at this. I remember this one dive and we took some video of it and it was basically just this river of, of goop from melted sea stars. People were really worried about what was happening and it was definitely crazy to witness that. Zombie apocalypse. There's definitely been lasting effects on the ecosystem from sea star wasting disease. So in Howe Sound, we see a top predator, which is our sunflower star. And then we have green urchins, which is our primary grazer on kelp. And then we have kelp. So after sea star wasting disease wiped out our top predator sunflower stars, we saw a major increase in the abundance of green urchins. Once these armies of urchins arrived, they could just plow through a whole bed of kelp. And what we'd be left with is just these little stems of the kelp. This research is important because we need to understand what's the long-term outlook for this habitat. Kelp is important for a number of different reasons. If you brush your teeth every day, you're using kelp. Kelp is a really important habitat um, and protection from predators. Kelp is also a food source because it is the base of your food chain. It's a source of food for a lot of different species. And it's important for storm protection. It creates this barrier along coastal environments that protect areas from storm surge. Kelp is cool. <laughs> More people should study it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything that really necessarily scares me about the future of the oceans, but there's more that excites me. You finish one research project and you find one conclusion, but you're ready to ask 10 more questions. And I think that that's sort of exciting because we're continuing to find out more and understand more about our oceans.